What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. It is Weston Smith, and we just got done signing up for one of the biggest bass fishing tournaments in history with the largest, if I'm not mistaken, cash payout of a million dollars to the grand prize winner, aside from over four million in prizes, that is gonna be the total prize purse amongst all the participants. Let me tell you more about it. What do we got here, three pounds? That might be three and a half. That might go four. It's getting bigger by the second. It is on. I mean, there is a lot of coverage on this thing. All right, y'all, so my buddy Cody hit me up just the other week. He told me about this little tournament that Bass Pro Shops has going on. It is the US Open National Bass Fishing Amateur Team Championships Benefiting Conservation presented by Toyota. Yes, a mouthful. And let me tell you what, the bass about to get a mouthful as well. Oh, these baits, baby, because we signed up. And it looks like there's some fierce competition in this thing. A lot of entries, a $450 entry fee, by the way, which if you've seen some other videos covering this, there's a lot of news about this and hype generated recently uh, because of how different this is. Amateurs only, no pros allowed. We're gonna dive into the details. I think the buy-in or the entry fees were kind of up for speculation as well as some other entry requirements. So we're gonna cover those real quick and tell you a little bit more about this tournament that we entered kind of last minute, like literally a minute before reservation closed, registration closed I should say. I'm gonna do my best to cover a lot of the details around this tournament and then hopefully you guys can learn from our experience. Maybe you're gonna be fishing this thing in a later qualifier and you can learn from our successes and our failures. So let me quickly cover how you can even get entered into this tournament if you're interested as well as talk to you a little bit about our strategy, game plan, etc. The championship is actually November 19th through 21st of 2021 on Table Rock Lake in Missouri. The first qualifier is March 13th on Lake Okeechobee out there in Florida. Then the second one is in our neck of the woods. It is not far from us. It is Lake Ray Roberts out here in Texas. Qualifier number three is actually gonna be just behind ours out here in Texas, April 24th, and it is gonna be on Lake Mead in Nevada. So these first three events, registration went live, I think, Yesterday, it was like a 24 hour registration, I believe. It was like February 10th through February 11th at 10 a.m. this morning, this is the 11th. And so I literally got our registration done at 9.59 a.m. I was like, Cody, are we doing this? Are we doing this? Because it is a $450 per person entry fee. And we both agreed, let's go ahead. I went through the registration process only to find out that you don't have to pay up front. <laughs> You're just now in the drawing to be one of the 250 contestants on that lake. So maybe there's 500 entrants, maybe there's a thousand entrants. Maybe there's under 200 entrants on your lake. It looks like there's only gonna be 250 boats per lake, or at least that's the way they have Lake Ray Roberts set up. And then the top 40 advance from the qualifier and have an opportunity to go fish for the grand prize out on Table Rock Lake in Missouri. So registration has closed and the announcement is on February 17th as to whether we will actually be able to fish in it despite having going through the registration process. It looks like the fourth qualifier is up in Maryland. You got the fifth qualifier in Michigan. Uh, sixth is gonna be in Tennessee, seventh is gonna be in Oklahoma, and the last chance qualifier is gonna be in Arkansas leading up to that championship again later this year in November, Springfield, Missouri. So it sounds like there's actually three ways to qualify. So from the eight national qualifiers, 316 teams are going to advance. Boat dealers team trails, there's gonna be 31 teams advancing from those. And then it looks like collegiate tournaments, three teams are going to advance, so 350 Total teams are going to the championships competing for over a million dollars in cash and prizes, as well as a new Toyota Tundra, new boats, the list goes on, let's get to it. Here's the qualifying event rules, which is pretty interesting. It's something completely different. You must be an amateur. An amateur is someone who has not competed as a boater or pro in an MLF major or bass fishing elite series event within the last two years, or anglers that have not paid more than an entry fee of $2,500 for any previous events. It also sounds like you're not eligible to fish this tournament if you have over 100,000 in lifetime earnings from bass fishing tournaments. Now here's one of the reasons me and my buddy decided to link up and fish this is because at least one teammate must be the registered owner of one of these world-class boat brands, Tracker, Ranger, Nitro, Mako, Sun Tracker, Triton, and Tahoe. So if you guys have followed our journey on the channel, you know we started with bank fishing a few years ago, gradually got into the kayak fishing a couple years ago, and then last year we got our 2020 Ranger RT-188P, red in color, we call her the hot tamale. So if we're raffled in as one of the 250 teams, this will be my first tournament from the boat. I've only done one other tournament and it was a local Dallas-Fort Worth tournament off the banks, and so this will be something entirely different, but this is who this tournament is catered for, is amateurs, maybe father and son, think families, they wanna get 
people who don't have that tournament experience out on the water competing for the biggest cash prize ever in a fishing tournament. So this is insane. I could absolutely bore you guys with this video, turn it into 45 minutes to an hour if y'all wanted me to cover all the rules, but I think what I'm gonna do is just drop a link to this thing down in the description. So if you are interested, you can check it out for yourself and we're gonna bypass the rules section. Prizes, prizes. This, now see, this is something we wanna read about, right? So the champions each win a Toyota Tundra and a 21 foot bass boat. Absolutely sick. So Toyota is of course one of the sponsors. You're gonna get a brand new Toyota Tundra as well as a full size 21 foot bass boat. There's over 4 million in cash and prizes. It looks like there's even some off-road toys you can win, so I think the prizes are going to be pretty extravagant. Let's scroll down here a little bit. Over 4 million in cash and prizes. If you break the largemouth bass state record, you get a million dollars cash. I don't think that's exclusive to just the Texas one either. I assume for all of the qualifiers or maybe just the championship. I'm trying to figure this out. You get a million dollars cash if you break the state record. So so that's insane. Now at each regional qualifier, so even if you don't make it to the final tournament out there on Table Rock, each angler who competes in a regional qualifier will receive a gift bag for each team member with exclusive goods valued at $150. Pretty slick. Uh, qualifier first place gets $50,000 cash. So it sounds like eight teams from each qualifier, whoever is number one spot is gonna win $50,000 cash. And there's payouts out to 40th place. I don't know the payouts. I don't think it displays them quite yet, but I imagine you're uh, getting more than your entry fee. I imagine you're cashing out a little bit. Biggest bass from each qualifier goes into a drawing for a Nitro Z20 boat. So you could win a Nitro boat just from catching the biggest fish at your qualifier. There's also some perks for youth anglers, which is anyone 10 and under, junior anglers, which is 11 to 17 years old, families, you got a lot of different things, all female teams, veterans, active military or hometown heroes. You got a lot of different chances for smaller prizes in these tiers as well, which is pretty sick. It looks like a lot of thousand dollar gift cards, etc. Now, before we get into our game plan and maybe some helpful tips for you guys, here is the prizes at the overall championship out there on Table Rock. If you are one of those top 40 teams, let's see what you can win. One million cash payout. Each champion gets the Toyota Tundra and the bass boat. The biggest bass at the championship wins the Nitro Z20 boat. So not only are you entered into a raffle if you win the biggest bass at the qualifiers, but if you get the biggest bass at the championship, bam, new bass boat is yours. All female teams get some perks. Biggest bass caught by any female also gets a $1,000 Bass Pro gift card. It looks like youth anglers from zero to 10 years old, whoever catches the biggest bass at the championship gets a $1,000 Bass Pro gift card. I mean, there's some cool stuff here, you guys. It says at the bottom there are a million different fish stories, but only one million dollar fish. So that is the case in this tournament. So that's kind of a brief rundown. We're super stoked because I just literally got the reservation done in the last minute this morning. And as soon as I got it entered, it hit 10 a.m. Central Time and I went back and the page was no longer there. So all registrations are only open for 24 hours. So if you're interested in this thing, I mean, you got to be ready because I hit Cody up yesterday and I'm like, hey, are we doing this? <laughs> Basically, it's $900 per boat, right, per team. And so we're thinking, all right, let's go for it. So we went ahead, signed up. All I'm saying is you gotta be quick. So the first three qualifiers, it sounds like registration is closed. So Lake Okeechobee, Lake Ray Roberts, and Lake Mead, you had to have already signed up. But in May on the 12th, registration opens for Chesapeake Bay and Lake St. Clair. So that is gonna be qualifier four and five. Then in July on the 14th, it's going to be Old Hickory Lake and Grand Lake. Those two qualifiers are gonna be open for 24 hours registration. The last chance qualifier, it says registration date is to be announced, so it's gonna be further down, and I believe it takes place on November 17th, and it's Bull Shoals Lake in Arkansas, in Arkansas. Qualified teams only are gonna have the opportunity to go fish on Table Rock. So I was doing a little bit of recon, right? I watched a couple YouTube videos this morning, some tournaments uh, out there. What did it end up looking like? Uh, in 2018, I was watching the Texas Team Trail presented by Cabela's. It was uh, Ray Roberts' final standings. It looks like the top five, the limit was 2870. So almost 30 pounds to win that one in 2018. And then it looks like down in 10th place was 21 pounds. So if you can get lucky with a couple big fish, you might have an opportunity to take this thing at the qualifier on April 17th. So we've got about two months to prepare, which is fantastic because it's literally 20 degrees in Texas today. It is uh, very cold. Looking forward to fishing in April versus this time of year. And our plan is really just go out and have some fun. If you guys want to follow along with the process, we would love to have you go ahead and subscribe, turn notifications on. I'm definitely going to be uploading some videos of fishing Lake Ray Roberts here shortly. I've only fished Lake Ray Roberts one time and it's funny because I searched fishing Lake Ray Roberts this morning on YouTube and my video pulled up as like number one maybe just because I was searching it but it showed up at the top of the results which I thought was 
funny because I'm like, I don't even remember fishing this lake. I feel like I was brand new to fishing. <laughs> I look like, I sound like a total rookie. I'm gonna put the link in the description in case you guys wanna watch that. But be looking out for some content coming up very right here. Needless to say, be looking out for some current Lake Ray Roberts content from me, uh, Cody, my wife Devin. We'll probably all get out there and have some fun and do some fishing out there. Maybe throw in some tips and see if we can't get on some and see if we can't learn the lake a little bit before this tournament. So stoked to provide this information for you guys. We are super psyched to be involved and have a chance at $1 million cash prize. And let's face it, for the majority of folks, us included, it could just be a day of fun fishing and $450 spent per person, but it's gonna be an awesome experience and we wanna bring you guys along for the ride. So be looking out, you guys. We'll see you on these future tournament videos. Till then, peace out. <gasps>